Hey everyone, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. Always an awesome time being here with you guys today. And I really do hope these tutorials and uh, vi videos that I'm making are helpful and uh, you guys are learning a lot from them or taking something from them. It makes me happy. So thank you guys for your encouragement and support. And I really want to thank my patrons because I wouldn't continue this without their help. They are the ones that, uh, you know, keep, keep these videos going. So thank you guys so much for your support. So as a way to give back to them, I'd like to do a giveaway. And I do this often with them. So if you want to check out and be a part of it, check out the Patreon page down below. But here's the giveaway. I have a basket full of names, wonderful names up here. And there's a bunch of lovely names and I don't, I'm not looking, so I don't know which name it will be, but the winner is, the winner is this person right here, Karen. Thank you so much for your support, Karen. Congratulations. You get to choose the prize out of the options that are on my Patreon page. So. Congratulations again, and thank you for your support. Now, we are about to begin. For the brushes, we need these artist love brushes. They come in a pack, and I'll show you as we go and paint, I'll show you which one I'm using. These blending brush set right here. This lovely, fluffy, fluffy ones and then we need of course a detailed brown double detail brush and uh, any half an inch brush will do I have a flat number eight brush right here if you want the link to these materials and brushes check it out down below I put it up so it could be easier for you guys let's go over the paint we need titanium white Ultramarine blue, cadmium yellow, naphtha red light, and carbon black. So we are using primary colors and black and white for today. And then uh, also, if you have some uh, paper towels right here to dry out your brushes, you know, after you. Um, dab them in the water jar, dry them out like this. And then of course, any water jar to put your brushes in when you're not using it um, so they won't dry out. Cause acrylics, you know, they dry fast as you know. Of course you need a palette knife and then a palette of some sort. And I think that's about it. So let's start with what I do is, I don't sketch out, I just kind of place it where I want to be. So I'm gonna probably have the cabin to be off-centered a bit right here. And then we want to start with the furthest distance. That's how I always work, and which is the sky. So we're gonna get the sky, and then we're gonna make the sky very simple. And then we're gonna add the trees, and then the cabin, and then the snow, and whatever is, you know, bushy stuff, whatever is up close, okay? So let's grab our palette knife, and what I got here is a little bit of ultramarine blue and titanium white and then less ultramarine blue and then more titanium white. So we want two shades and this will be our sky color. So we're gonna mix our first one. Right about there. And then our second one should be a bit lighter. Right about there. So that will be our sky color. Doesn't have to be exactly the same, but you know, there you go. We're gonna grab our number two fluffy brush right here and dab it in the water about halfway. Halfway, there you go. And then squeeze it out a little bit. And we are ready to use this brush. And so we're gonna start with the let's go with the lightest color let's grab our lightest color just put it all over your brush and then we're gonna have the sky be right about here remember how we did the sailboat um, we we're gonna have it covered 
um, most of this is going to be covered with trees, so um, we'll just say it'll end right here, this guy. So just cover this up. Putting our first layers. there and as you get up you see um, my brush is starting to get a little um, it, you know it's starting to kind of it's a little harder to blend so what I do is I dab it lightly in the water again halfway lightly with my brush and continue on and it makes it run smoothly on the canvas so and then I had a question uh, before uh, I think it was on my last video tutorial people asking me if I spray uh, onto my palette with uh, water or anything to keep it from drying. I, I don't do that. I mean, I know some people do that actually and it works so you can try it out, but I, I don't do that. I just, um, I just dab my brush in the water and, um, and it works nicely for me. So you could try it either way, uh, see what works best for you. Um, so now I'm putting the second color right here and I'm starting from the top and carrying it downwards. Take all of it and blend everything nicely from the top. There you go. And then this is the part where I will grab my bigger fluffy brush and blend everything nicely so that there could be a nice smooth transition. Here we are. And I'm going to dab it lightly, not going to go halfway, but just lightly, just a little bit, just on the tip, and then squeeze most of it out. Um, and sometimes what helps is, um, if because you don't want too much water on your brush, dry it out if you have to with a paper towel, just so it could be a little damp. And then we're going to start blending from the bottom and carrying it upwards, lightly pressing, okay, lightly pressing and swirling it. And that blends very nicely. Easy and nice. As you could see. Here we are. The sky is pretty much done. So now I'm gonna use a hair blow dryer to dry it out real quick. There you go. And the reason why I use the hair blow dryer to dry it out because it's actually easier to add more layers and adding layers without the background blending in with your new layer, you know, it, it does that. And, and if you work that way and it works good for you, awesome. But I, I, I tried and I like it to have um, you know, do one part, let it dry, and add more layers on top, and then let it dry and then add more and more. It's easier to work with for me that way with acrylics. Oh, and by the way, this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. You can use any size canvas you'd like, um, but that's what I'm using today. All right, so now let's add some tall trees, snowy trees, okay? And what I got here is just carbon black. Put, um, you know, maybe two thumbnails and then a little bit of yellow and white. And we're gonna mix that, and it's still gonna be pretty dark. But not pure black, right there. We're gonna use that as base, as the base of the trees. We're gonna go ahead and start drawing out where we want the trees to be first. And here you can use any half an inch brush, but I have this number eight flat brush. It's almost the same thing. And I'm gonna dab it in the water. And I dabbed it in the water 
And what I do is then I grab, uh, the mix it with this black, this, I mean, color right here that we mixed. And then I'm going to add some trees. So before I'm gonna add the, the tree lines, I'm gonna show you guys real quick where the cabin will be. So I'm gonna have the cabin around probably about right here. And I'm just drawing it out to show you guys where it's gonna be, okay? About right there. And we're gonna change maybe the size and all that, but don't worry about that now. So now we're gonna add the trees, okay? And what I'd like to do is first I add, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm gonna bring it down all the way, maybe up to here. Okay, and then my second will probably be right below it, like this. Dabbing my brush in the water so it can run smoothly. And then this one, I'm gonna make it all the way to the top, and bring it down and make it a bit bigger. About right there. And then just add as much trees as you'd like. And this one is gonna be a bit right next to it, right behind this cabin. And then we're gonna have another tall one right here. Right there. And then just a few little ones in the back right there. You can even add some in the back. Right there. And now we're gonna use, we're gonna add some branches. And we're not gonna focus on the details, we're just laying out the sketch first, okay? And so now we're gonna grab our detail brush and dab it in the water so it could run smoothly on the canvas use the same color and we're gonna draw just really quickly where we want these branches to stick out okay just really quickly draw little mustaches okay like that and they don't have to be even and as you obviously as you get you go down you um, want to make them bigger and longer, okay? About right there. And this is gonna be covered um, in snow here, so a lot of it's gonna be covered here. So around there, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then same thing here, really quickly. Just so you can get an idea, this is just a sketch, real quick sketch. I'm just constantly, every time I move my brush, I'm dabbing it in the water jar and mixing it with this color here and lightly pressing. I'm, not, I'm, I'm barely touching the canvas, so my brush runs lightly, so it wouldn't, because if you press too hard, then it's gonna make thicker, you know, lines. Around right there and then this one. And I know you guys are probably thinking, wow, where's she taking us with this? This is very easy. I can do this without a lesson. But that's what you need to do sometimes to get to, because it's all about layering, right? And you need to do this to get to a little, you know, the more details you add and you get to the final piece. That's what it takes sometimes, is what I'm trying to say. Right there, dabbing my brush in the water. And this one behind, really quick. Right 
I'm gonna make these trees super fluffy. So we're gonna uh, do this a few times actually. They just draw them really quick. About there, it doesn't have to be perfect. And you see what I'm doing? I'm like, you know how the branches, they, there's a thicker one and then it goes in smaller and smaller and smaller. You could do all that details, but that's towards the end, okay? Right now we're just adding um, a few details, a few just quick sketches, and then we'll add more towards as we get closer. But this is almost like our base, okay? All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, we're gonna grab our, we're gonna grab our, this is like a half an inch artist loft brush. It's uh, rough here and any rough brush you have, it doesn't have to be an artist loft brush, but I like these because they give an awesome like bushy effect. You'll see. And I'm not gonna dab this brush in the water. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab and work dry. And what I'm doing is I'm dabbing my brush and I'm not grabbing a lot of this color that we mixed. I'm using the same color. I'm just dabbing it like this and then um, lightly start from the tip and work your way down. And this is where you add a little more detail. Um, and you just dab it. You see how it like it makes blobs like this? you almost want to minimize that. So make sure it's kind of giving you like a, you see, you can test it out right here on your palette. You, you kind of want that, you know, where there's some texture going on. And then just follow your branches. A lot of this is going to be covered with snow as well, since we're going to add snow, but, um, for now, let's uh, just work with one color at a time. And just follow your branches. Maybe add some in the middle because some branches might stick out at you. So you wanna add some in the middle and then maybe make some more extras. And as you get down, you could see this kind of white background helps to see how it would look if there was snow on, on the trees. So that's why it's kind of nice leaving it white. But it's also a good idea to add some sort of base in the background right here. Um, but, you know, everyone works differently. And bring it out and fade it out. And as you get lower here, maybe there's some fluffy ones right about here and, and we're gonna fade it out right here make this darker about right there okay and basically do the same thing on all the trees yeah just you know do the same thing start from the top and then just add your dab it, and I'm dabbing it lightly. We're gonna make these trees fluffy. So 
So the reason why I drew it like this, it gives me an idea of wh where I should add the branches. And that's why I like to kind of quickly sketch it out, basically. So yeah, so then do the same thing, you know, add, I'm gonna um, speed up this process real quick, but it's the same technique, same idea, and so I'm gonna do that real quick. And now I'm gonna grab my number two fluffy brush. Got the sketch down of the trees. And I just, rin I didn't rinse it out, I just like squeezed the water out. And so it's pretty wet. And then I'm gonna grab lightly a, a little bit of this black color or this color here. And you could see I'm gonna work transparent and then I'm gonna just, just blend, you know, up to until this point right here, okay? Maybe you can go a little bit higher right there. Just blend this lightly, so dab it in the water so you won't um, blend or put in too much of the color because you, you want to work transparent. So I'm lightly pressing just on some of It's almost like acts like a base or something. So I'm dabbing my brush in the water and going all the way and then right, you know, I'm not going blending everywhere, but just where I think it needs a little shade or shadows. So I'm gonna blend this area. Don't worry about, you know, getting into this house because we're going to make it nicer. So, keep doing that. I would say about up to here. Since this is a bigger tree. Um, so, I'm going to grab a little bit and then since this is the bottom, I'm going to create 
a little darker area right here and it's gonna go down same thing here just grab working transparent and you know move it up here how about like that and then don't worry about making it perfect this is just our base just our base guys and make this a little darker here brush in the water and then what I'm gonna do is create, I'm just kind of outlining where I want the snowy areas to be really quick okay so I'm outlining um, really quickly just the shadows so this will be the shadows and maybe some bushy areas will be here so I'm gonna add this color a little darker right here. Just working transparent. Grab more water. And about there. And we're gonna obviously add more shade stuff on here but let's continue working on the trees okay so I'm gonna lightly just with water just cover this area and out there doesn't have to be all perfect and stuff okay so now let's continue working on adding more details on our trees Okay, so what I got here is just pure titanium white and then a little bit of less titanium white and ultramarine blue and mix, mix this one right here and we will go ahead and start adding our snow. And these are two shades, there's still snow but some are gonna be, you know, have the um, reflection of the sky or, or a shade darker, you know how the snow is. You could see a little bit of the blue in it. Okay, right there. So now we're gonna grab, let's grab an, an inch artist lot brush, flat brush right here. Also, same brand, you know, rough right here. But we're gonna use this brush and we're gonna start with adding, um, and I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna make my brush wet, uh, this light blue color that we have here. And we're gonna start off by adding right on the top right here, start off. And what I'm not gonna cover everything, but you know how the snow is. It, uh, and I'm lightly dabbing it. Okay, I'm lightly dabbing it. And I'm adding on top of the, of some of these black areas, okay? Instead of the, the sky showing through, add that snow, this lighter blue color, okay? And some could be covering the front like this, could be a little bigger, you know? And then, right there. And we're gonna add more details. And as you could see, I am working very gently here. I don't want to cover a lot of this black, so I'm just layering it, okay? So, just lightly. And this is the fun part, because you can add the snow where you want yours to be. So here, before I continue, I'm gonna fill in this guy right here. So I'm gonna dab it right there lightly on top. You know, add some snow on this guy right here. I don't wanna leave that tree all hanging by itself without snow.
since that tree is more further back, I'm going to, you know, draw in the snow first on the ones that are further back. And then I'll continue with these closer trees. So do the same thing using the same color. And, and, and this is our first layer, so we're gonna go over in detail again. But let's gently dab. And you wanna go with the snow, you wanna go further out. You know, you know how um, um, we added the black? We, you wanna go a little further out. You could see. You want to make your trees look fluffy and like they have a lot of snow. Maybe some areas, maybe right here, I'm gonna, you know, add more snow right right here, and then it covers this, and then leave some of the areas empty. Maybe, maybe it doesn't cover everything. Maybe some of the snow fell off this tree. but um, lightly pressing and I will fade it out right there. Right about there, right? to our next tree. You see what I'm doing? I'm almost using the corner of my brush and when I start from the tip and then as I get lower, I add you know, I use more of the bigger side, the, the middle. And the reason why is, um, you know, the branches on top are a little smaller, and as you get closer and more to the bottom, they become bigger.
So now I'm going to do the same thing, but just go over with the white, just pure white. You don't need to clean your brush, but just, um, I want the, you know, just uh, add it on some areas, maybe on the top, you know, on the top, make it a little more fluffier if you want. Um, and just add it um, on, maybe on the edges and some in the middle right here. Just balance it out with the white. We're gonna dry it out. To create some depth here, I'm gonna fade out these two trees, just the ones that are, that are in the back. So these four trees and these two trees. The ones that are close, I'm gonna leave them be that color. But I'm gonna just grab my brushes damp and I'm just gonna work transparent, kind of what I did here with just white and some water. And I'm just gonna fade it out. Fade this one out and don't worry about blending in all the way to the sky it's just white color so um, it won't be and you don't have to cover everything maybe some parts are gonna be pretty you know dark but I would try to fade it out right there just with white maybe even bring it up towards the sky a bit it's okay Just white and water. Just blend this area. Okay. And then do the same thing on these trees. So just slightly here. This one's a bit closer, so maybe you don't want to cover everything.
Dabbing my brush in the water and grabbing more white and blending this guy. Maybe just bring it up towards the sky. And just fade it out. So this is where you have the details and I'm going to grab my half an inch artist loft brush right here and do the same thing with the white and just on the tip um, I start from the top and I just add just on some areas more detail to my tree and I'm drawing kind of like almost like a circu circular shape but not everywhere you don't want it to look everything similar you know what I mean Make sure some are going down, some snow branches go down and some go up. And this is where you can add as much detail as you want. Just play around, have fun. And once you're happy with your trees. And then you might want to do that same idea, but with a darker, with a, this darker color that we made for the first layer when we added. You might want to go over some of the areas if you'd like more like attention or you know on one part of the area of the tree so I'll call it good right there and um, let's go ahead and move to these guys just lightly add the snow See what I'm doing here? I'm not covering everything. I'm not covering the blacks. I'm just putting it on top. And you don't want it perfect, you know, some, some can be sticking out a bit, you know. And then others can be a little more messier, I guess. And as you get down, you want them to be a little bigger, okay? Like this is good right here. Right there. Okay, so now, you know, you add as much white as you want on the trees. And now do the same thing, um, just on some areas, create with this color that we made, create just some more of the, the lines here, maybe bigger down here, um, shadows. the ones here are a little bigger and darker and as it gets up it fades away
I'm not gonna touch the background, just the ones up here up close. I'm just gonna add a few more. Highlights here. So now I'm going to go over with my detail brush and dab it in the water and I'm going to constantly do that and uh, mix just with this black right here and we're going to work transparent. Um, so I'm grabbing some more water and swirling it on my brush and then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over some of these areas, just outline them lightly. I'm barely pressing it and just outline some of these, create some shapes. It'll make your um, snow look more interesting. And then you can also clean it out with your finger, like fade it out, drag it out. That way um, it'll really um, smooth out and pop out nicely. And as you could see, I'm creating these awesome like highlights and it makes the I'm only going to do it the, um, the ones that are up close here, okay? So, just keep that in mind. And one here. And what I'm doing is I'm outlining the ones, um, like the just going over the top of the white and outlining the shape and following where it leads me, okay? That's what I'm doing. See, this one kind of goes down. is just doing this, it, it separates from the ones further back and it makes it more like uh, detailed and up close, you know, as, as things get uh, closer, you'll see more details and that's what we're doing just with a few of these trees, the ones that are up close. And there you go. And then if I add it too much, then I'll use white and transparently go over some of these 
so that they won't like pop out too much and look like unreal. So just take it out with titanium white, just a few of them. But you could still see them and there you have it we will move on with the trees we are done and I think we're gonna continue and now add the snow in the background and then add the cabin all right so first of all we're gonna mix one shade ultramarine blue a little bit of that and white and mix that color and maybe grab a little bit of carbon black just a little bit just a touch on your um, palette knife so it could still be a shade of blue but it has that um, touch of it almost looks gray that's the color we want and pure titanium white and what we're gonna do is now add some snow on the bottom here and I'm gonna grab my artist off brush uh, half an inch start off with adding just white and let's add the white let's make a bushy area right about here we're gonna create like like there's bush and a lot of snow has been covering it um, that's what we're gonna do just dab it on and right about there and then here we're gonna fade it out right there so we got some snow here and then snow going in there okay and then as we get closer here we're gonna use this blue and we're just gonna add it right here. It's like a, almost like a shadow, right about here. Remember we added um, this shadow here? Well, we're gonna use that. So water and this shade that we mixed and just blend it in right about there and then Grab a little bit of black and just add it on here. You fade it out right about here. And right there. And then what we're going to do is add a little bit more here. And then Maybe add, remember this area, right here. Add this blue that we mixed. And add it. I'm working with water and transparent, so I'm gonna fade it out right in here. Right about, it's like almost like a hill. Transparent and add this blue, and then we're gonna have the same idea. These bushes are gonna be here, so just add it by dabbing it randomly. Make and then you can fade it out here, and now here. I'm gonna grab my uh, H brush because this is just pure white and we're just gonna have pure white and grab some water in white and blend everything in here. Up until the cabin. Okay, and then 
same thing here, cover the empty areas with white and water, right about there. And now we can use our uh, number eight fluffy brush, squeeze the water out and use the paper towel if you need to dry it a little bit. And we can just blend and I'm dabbing it and blending these colors in and I'm just blending everything in right here. Just blend it all in. Blend it with the white, don't be afraid. Just blend it all in, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna add some grass and stuff on there, so. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So, and then same thing here, blend this blue. And carry it out up until the edge right here. Right about there. And this part, you know, you can carry it out with just maybe black and a little bit of blue. Right here. This part's gonna be dark and you'll see why. And I'm working with water and lightly pressing, not that hard, okay? Right about there, okay. And now we're gonna add some bushes and stuff here real quick. Just with the black, we're gonna grab water and black and draw some of the bushes here. Oh, maybe some bushes sticking out like this and just draw them where you want to be. And I always, um, I'm dabbing my brush in the water and lightly draw out. Maybe some are sticking out like this. And I'm randomly adding these little bushes here. Maybe there's one that goes all the way up. Maybe sticks, dried out sticks. Okay, that's what they are. Now I'm gonna grab my artist loft brush, half an inch, and grab some of the black, just pure black. And on the bottom here, just pull it upwards and on some of the areas where you have the branches. You can actually even draw some of the lines kind of going down, like little highlights or something. And just add it randomly as a bush, you know, like right here and here, just randomly, like with black, just pure black, and right on the bottom where you added the branches, just pull it upwards, okay? And once you have that, we are 
we're able to add more layers. Again, you can bring it down if you want. Create cool little hills or whatever you wanna call it. And I'm working transparent, so just keep that in mind. And maybe bring it down to this point right here. And then draw lightly, going to the cabin like this. Maybe there's some rocks and grass sticking out from some of these areas. So just pull it upwards, super easy. You fade it out with your finger, but let's call it good right here. And then just do the same thing on the other side. And do the same thing, not everything, but do the same thing with white, because that's adding snow and use the detail brush and just go over on one side of the branches and outline them right next to it, you know. Go all the way down, use water and white and draw in your details on the branches snow i mean we're adding snow on these branches and have fun water and white it'll run smoothly on the canvas if you do that All right, so now I'm gonna add my, some of my bushes here and cover some of this. Some of them are a little too much, so I'm gonna cover some up until this point. Just make it, you know, balance it out. Maybe add some snow fluff here, maybe some here. Maybe some going in like this. And just blend everything in here. Like that. All right, cabin time. Let's get the cabin put in here and then we'll finish the details later. So what I got here is black, red, yellow, and blue. And same thing here, but I added white. And it's pretty much the same. But this is gonna be a dark, it's gonna be our, uh, almost like a base color, okay? Right about there. And 
then we're mixing our second color. It should be pretty much the same, but just lighter. About right there. I'm gonna add a little more yellow and white to this. I want it to be a little more brighter than this one. All right, here we are. And let's grab our number eight or half an inch brush. And let's grab our darkest color here. And let's first draw the shape. It's gonna be very simple, guys. So we're gonna go straight down like this, all the way up until this point. And you could use masking tape if you want it perfectly straight. You know what I mean? And up until this point. I'm just eyeballing it right now. So about there. Sorry for the excessive noise, guys. The trash guys um, below us picking up trash right now. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm gonna draw it the shape all the way up until this point. Right here. And then here, I'm gonna go in a little bit out. And I'm gonna go in that way a little bit like this. Okay. And come out a little bit. Okay. And then here, I'm going to drop down. So I made it a little bigger, as you could see. Right about there. Okay. We're gonna have a wide cabin here and draw this down and I'm going to bring this down all the way up until this point right here so like this and now um, we're gonna have you know our window right about right here so I'm gonna just quickly draw it out so you guys can have an idea a window is gonna be right in here and then we're gonna continue on and then about this about right there a little more than halfway we're gonna cut it up and draw it down and we're gonna have this door okay this door and then this is going to continue on and there will be a little door here going in um, hidden there so I'm gonna draw out the lights first so about right there the shadows so I'm gonna draw in my darkest color and draw everything in everything and we're gonna cover it in. as our base okay this will be as our base and there will be a little window on top as well we're gonna add that later but let's cover first up until this point like this As we get down, we're gonna grab our lighter color because the um, the light is shining on, and it's a little brighter here. That's why we mixed our lighter color right there. Maybe even going on, going out like that, and just covered it around the window. it down here okay and then same thing we're gonna use our lighter color and draw it right in here and just cover everything in with the lighter color first. 
And don't worry about the bottom because we're going to add branches and snow, so it's going to be main, mostly covered. Okay, and so now that I've got my base down, I'm going to grab my number eight fluffy brush and we'll, uh, clean it out. And it's still damp. And just like blend it all in so you won't see the brush strokes that much. So it won't be too obvious, you know. Like I'm barely, I'm barely um, pressing. I'm just trying to take away some of the brush strokes, okay? But I like some of the texture that it gave me, so I'm not gonna blend everything in, okay? Right there, so we got our base. I'm gonna dry it out real quick. Now let's add the details. So I grabbed some yellow and white and just a touch of red. And I'm gonna grab some of this leftover right here and mix it with it. I just want a lighter shade, that's all. So we're gonna use this color right here. The reason why I'm adding the red is because I want it to look kind of um, brownish color. If I just add yellow, it'll look kind of green, which is fine, but I want my cabin to look, you know, brownish. So now I'm gonna add details, okay? So let's go grab our now, half an inch, clean it out and grab our lighter color and start adding the details. So I'm gonna go ahead and add straight down. Use, grab some water if you have to. My trim of the window. there and then maybe some wood crossing like that lightly we're transparent you know cabin is rough the wood is rough so that's why it's important to work I'm, I'm barely pressing and so I'm working transparent. I'm gonna add another wood here. Going down, using the same color. And remember this highlight right here we added? Draw, continue drawing some wood here. And draw a log up until this point. Going down, and then grab more water. And add another straight line down. Maybe a little interesting highlights there. So this area, you could see it's the shadows. Okay, and then, and then we're gonna do the same thing here and add a straight line first here. You see, uh, my lines are not perfect, but you know, this is a sketch. So that's okay. And add a highlight in there, maybe going in like that. And then here, same thing. And we're gonna draw. 
highlights right there. It's like the wood is going in, you know what I mean? Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing here. Lightly fade it out. I'm dabbing my brush in the water and working transparent. And I'm gonna fade it out. Right there. So, now I'm gonna draw a little window here. We, we always want a window on top. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna go over with our detail brush. Okay. So then you can go over and add a few more highlights on this side. But I'm gonna draw this out a little longer. Make it more interesting. Same thing here. then and let's fill in this with just pure black let's fill in up into about there and grab some water and black pure black Same thing here. And with black, I'm going to just go over some of these on top, lightly. Some of these areas. Like this part, uh, you can fade it out because the light is so dark here hit in this side that actually even add black right here. Um, we're gonna make this dark. Like the shadow is really, you know, covering this area. And maybe add some lines here. So I'm gonna cover this with black. some lines and just go over and draw do the same thing but with black just go over and draw some lines you can fade it out
it just makes your cabin pop out more. So now with my detail brush, I'm gonna go over, and now that I have the base down, the layout, I'm gonna go over and add like the, the details on my wood and with a lighter color. So water and this lighter color. And just add the details. And now the highlights just with white, pure white, we're gonna add some windows. So let's add straight down right there. Okay, and then one right about there. And then we're gonna just one there and let's put this one in the middle and one right there and we're gonna do the same thing on top just with water because you already have some white and add a little window here. Right there. And we're gonna create a highlight, so just add white on one side and fade it out like this. Because we want this to be pretty, you know, pretty dark. So just like this. Leave it the way it is. And then here, we're gonna create some highlights right in here. Just pure white. And then white will go down right in here too. We want that window seal to stand out. And maybe some, you know, go over and add some um, highlights on the wood again, just with white and water, just on some areas. 
that will really make your house come to life. Maybe right in here. Now we're going to add more details and grab water and, and just black and let's attach this one up up until this point right here same thing here and cross it like that and same thing here and here that'll give it a 3d look And cover some of these areas where you added a little too much white. Maybe even what you can do is, I like to do this, is grab my half an inch Artisloft brush and with the black, um, just add, cover some of the light areas right here so that the light is like hitting part of the window you know what I mean so right there same thing here cover this side a bit just like that so that we can have a little bit of light showing as you can see I'm gonna add water in a transparent like black just black and add it right here on the bottom and make this a little darker right here this same thing in here just cover all this up with the darker because we want this side to be completely dark right right there like you almost can't see the details at all that's what we want Right about there. There you go, and I think, and maybe some add blacks on the bottom. This transparent black. Right about there. go and to finalize our cabin I'm gonna grab water and just pure yellow and we're transparent and then add just on some areas right here the light shining um, to, on our cabin you could see it starting to come to life the light is hitting it and it feels good for the cabin And just go over some of these, maybe too much there. Just clean it out with a finger and we are good with the cabin. We're gonna add some snow on top of our cabin, okay? It's not just gonna be plain. So what I'm gonna do next is just with pure titanium white, we're going to add some snow. So this part goes like this. And then grab our half an inch brush and just on top right here, make it as thick as you want, just pure white. And just maybe bring it down all the way up until this point. I'm gonna make it pretty thick. So I would say about right there and then have it come down and just slightly cover everything with snow. Let's 
same thing here. Bring it out. Up to here. And then I'm gonna also drag this out and actually bring the snow all the way down. Like it's on the side of the wall or something here. Okay. And then just cover it up with a bunch of white. And we're gonna add a little something special here. So really easy. Um, let's grab any color, maybe this dark color right here. And we're gonna add a little chimney. How about that? Like right about here and just bring it down. there and we're going to add snow on it so clean it up you can use the same brush and just add some snow on top like that there you go with my detail brush, I'm gonna grab trans work transparent with water and a little bit of black and just uh, add little like little lines here onto your snow on um, actually space them out evenly because you want it to see I did it too much here. One here, one here. Here, just space them out evenly. And then clean it, your brush out and grab white and just fade it out, fade it out. Just so it could look faded. Right about there. Okay, we will be done with our cabin now. Let's finish adding a few more details and we'll call this painting good. All right, so now let's add, using this dark color that we have mixed already, let's add a little like pull or something right about, you know, right here, probably up until this point. So how about like this? Little wooden pull here, chilling by himself. Just draw it in. Maybe draw some grass or something next to it. Right there. And then, of course, you want to add snow. So we're going to clean our brush and add snow next to it. So just pure white and add snow on top like this and then maybe a little bit going down. Doesn't have to be perfect. Like that. And then maybe it's, there's some snow here and just fade it out right there. And now for our final touches, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw some tall, like continue on with this idea. And we're gonna draw using this color with water. Grab our number half an inch, or you could use a detail brush, whatever you prefer. And we're just gonna create some big, bigger branches here. Okay, maybe some branches here that are super big covering a little bit of the cabin 
Okay. We don't want our cabin to be plain, so make sure you have these interesting bushes here. Maybe some go like this, others go like that. Play around. Add as much as you want. Since we're adding more here, I'm just going to dim some of this area with darker color. But first, let's just finish adding a few more. And to make some of this darker, I'm going to use the same right here, same color, and just, just on some of these areas on the bottom here, work transparent, you know, bring it upwards. And I'm just going to grab just white, it doesn't have to be perfect, and add some fluffiness, cover some of this cabin with some bushes or something. Just dab it. Maybe little rocks or something, you know. Not everywhere, just on some areas. And once we have that, we can add some white. And we are almost done. Just white and the same brush. Number eight flat brush with water and white. And we're just gonna finalize it by adding some snow. And maybe go over this guy again, right there. Make sure your brush is thin. And go over some of your do the same thing, but with white, okay? Go, first go over maybe some of them.
and add as much as you want. Don't forget this guy. And this guy. Make him look interesting. And for the final touch, I'm gonna just add a fun little wire here, um, maybe connecting in here. And it's going in and around right there. We'll add another one, how about that? snow and we'll call it good we'll add use our detail brush and just go over and add the snow just plain white snow just water and snow and white snow here and that should be good right there there you go All right, guys, I'll call it good for this painting. Um, you can add as much detail and go over as much as you want, you know, correcting it, adding snow, adding whatever you want on here and having fun with it. I hope this was helpful. Please let me know down below what you thought. And if this was helpful, please be sure to subscribe and like and share. And uh, yeah, see you guys next week for next week's tutorial and take care and God bless.